guys, it's Jimmy from Cops, Names, and Things. So it's another um, art journal page for this week. Um, so I just want to share with you the process. All I did, this is, we're working in our duct tape um, journal that we made. Super simple to make. There's a video if you want to learn how to make it. Um, but and it's no sewing or anything like that. And these are actually file folders. Just in case there's new people that are watching for the first time. And all I did was just gesso this page. Um, just with my homemade um, gesso that I make, and I have a video about that. Um, just because I'm going to be adding a lot of paint to this page, so I kind of want it um, to be sturdy and not to soak into the other pages. So, anyway, I found this cool looking guy in a magazine, a local magazine. It's called The Westward here in Colorado. That's where I live. So, um, I think he's just really cool. So, I cut him out and I want to make a page inspired by him. So, um, I have some um, music pages that I have um, that I get, you know, at the thrift store, I get one of those music books. And um, so, I think I'm going to use that. I have an assortment of paints. I'm going to do kind of blue tones with white and then I do have some red and some purple too so we'll see if we use that I have my study um, school glue and water mixture so it's three-thirds um, school glue to one um, to one-third um, water and then I have this little stamper that I got um, at Tuesday mornings it was super cheap like 79 cents and it has music notes and then I also have a stamp that has music notes too so I may use that um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, I just know that I want to use these two elements. So I'm going to get started. I will let you guys see all the process. If you have any questions on supplies or anything like that, um, just let me know and I'll be happy to show you. Um, this is kind of um, what's different about my journal pages is that I use a lot of things that you can, that you already have on hand, like paints and, you know, school glue and you know, just collaging materials. I don't think you have to use um, fancy things in order to make beautiful art journal pages. So um, that's kind of what this is about. And I'm so glad that you guys get to um, go with me on this process. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything. I did this setup for um, my camera a little differently. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. And um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to put you guys in um, on silent and then I will fast forward um, through the part and then I will always come back at the end and explain to you the process and um, just some some tips maybe if I have them or whatever so um, I'm gonna get started
Hi guys, it's me. So it's all done, which I love. So it turned out really cool. I'm very happy. Let me turn it around so you can see it a little better there. But as you can see, it has tons and tons of texture. And that image is just beautiful. And it says, music is the divine way to tell beautiful poetic things to the heart, which is true. I think music is, that music is beautiful. So, um, that's it all finished. Um, let me show you what I used here. I used um, just some fab, some artist loft paints that I had. I also used um, my new deco art paints, which is awesome. So I got to use the sapphire blue. Um, it's the fine line glitter paint, and that is so beautiful. That's kind of in the background. So um, this is very sparkly. I don't think you guys can tell, but there is some sparkle in here. Can you kind of see that? It's very sparkly and pretty. Yes. So I use that. And then I also use the twinkles, which are beautiful too, just because I wanted it to kind of be, um, have that um, beautiful glittery look to it. And then I also use white, um, just your basic white from CraftSmart. And what else did I use? And I got this stamp from uh, Michael's. It was a dollar fifty. And then I got this on sale at um, at um, Tuesday mornings. And it's just like a roller stamp. And what I did here with the circles is I used that stamp and then I circled around. Um, so kind of it looks like someone who's playing music, like when you circle special notes when you're playing. So I just love the way he turned out. I think that he's really beautiful. And um, I just love that image. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, I believe that's it. I also use purple and red. And you saw that I used the paintbrush at first, but I kind of wanted a kind of smeared look more. And then I just used just some of my junk stuff that I use, bubble wrap and um, the shelf liner, just to add just a little bit of um, stencil to it because I wanted it to have that kind of mixed media feel. And... Um, yeah, so I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will have this uploaded on um, 619. I'm working on it this morning. So hopefully I can get it edited and up for you guys. And I did use um, this sketch and wet pencil, um, which I love to. Um, yeah, and I just printed out the words on my computer just because I have terrible handwriting. <laughs> So, yeah, hopefully you guys are inspired by this page. I hope that you look for, for images to use. I mean, there's lots of beautiful images. And for someone like me that doesn't draw, I mean, it's just nice to be able to place them in and, and, um, and see how they turn out. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.